Good evening and welcome to Cameron Stadium for the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. Tonight, the defending Class C state champion John Baps Crusaders play host to the Callis Woodland Silverados. Adam Mahaney alongside Lucas Thomas. Lucas, John Baps, the defending state champions, have a huge bullseye on their back coming into this game. Yeah, I mean, anytime you, you enter the season as, as defending state champions, you're going to... Teams are going to want to take you down. Callis comes in here today talking to Kevin Ross and Ian Pratt before the game. They're ready to go, and uh, they're certainly fired up about this opportunity. You, talk, you talked with Ian Pratt earlier. What did the coach of Callis have to say about this game? Well, I mean, I asked him what it was like to come in here and face a team like John Babs, who won a, a championship last year, and, uh, and how his players were going to respond to that. I'm joined now by head coach of Callis football, Ian Pratt. Coach, how are you doing today? Uh, great. How are you doing today? Doing well. So you're coming in here to Bangor playing a John Babs team that won the state championship last year. How do you prepare your team to play a team like that? Well, John Babs is always a well-coached team, and they, and they have a lot of depth. Um, we expect to have them to have a tremendous squad tonight. So we just want to make sure we execute our game plan, do what we do, and uh, make sure our kids all have a chance to, to succeed at our game plan. We think if we can do those things, we have a chance. We always have a chance to win every on any given Friday night. Now you talked about earlier, you and I talked about uh, you have a very young team, only one returning senior. Do you think that gives you... Uh, Put you at a disadvantage coming in against a team like John Babs, who uh, won a states last year. Well, no question. I mean, the experience factor is is is, is huge when on a, on a John Babs team. Uh, they've got a lot of guys who not only have su had success in the past, but they've been building this program over a long time. And um, guess guys who've been in those critical situations at a state championship level, they know if they get down that they can always come back, and, they, and they've had a, a lot of success at doing those things. So that always gives it them an advantage that way. But hopefully, our 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 kids are really excited. A lot of these kids haven't been on the football field much. You know, we, they haven't been playing for years and years like our like our opponents have. So that gives them one a bit of an advantage and a little bit of excitement of the game. And you know, they can they hopefully can ride that tide to a win tonight. Talk about you said you're going. Hopefully, you can get a win. What do you got to do on offense to get that win? Hey, we we just got to execute our offense. Our offense is a uh, execution oriented offense. It's very team oriented. If we can if we can execute on our blocks and our kids can follow the, uh, follow the holes and the leads up there, we're very confident we can control the ball, control the clock, and that should be that should be the keys to our success tonight. What about on defense? What do you got to do to stop John Babs? John Babs, we have to contain the big play. I mean, um, the, the, the Weather B kid is a tremendous athlete. He's a great running back. Um, they have a lot of players in this team that can they can beat you a lot of different ways. So we got to eliminate the big play, and we need to uh, to to gang tackle. Coach, thanks a lot. And good luck. Thank you very much. I had a chance earlier to talk with Dan O'Connell, the John Babs Crusaders head coach. We talked about that bullseye on his back, and we talked about the new offense, a new quarterback, but the same running back in Billy Weatherby. We're now joined by Crusaders head coach Dan O'Connell. Coach, first of all, defending state champions, how big is the bullseye on your team's back this year? Well, I'm, I'm sure like every other year when you come off a season where you had the success we had that you're going to get everybody's best effort each week. Um, in a league like the LTC, I'm not sure that it necessarily matters because it's such a competitive league each week anyways. Um, but I'm sure there is an added incentive when you play us to, to play well and, and try to knock us off. And uh, we'll try to control the things we can and try to get better every week and, and hopefully be up to the task. Now you guys lost a lot of players. You have a new quarterback this year. What's it going to be like for the offense with a new quarterback? You still have a strong running game, though. Well, we're a big believer in the fact that the guys up front win the games. It's great to have great skill players, and I think we do have those. Um, but we're a firm believer in the fact that if you get it done up front, you can be successful. So far, we've, we've been up to the task, and hopefully those kids will continue to improve, and we'll take care of business on offense and defense. Now, Callis last year pushed you guys a little bit. They run a very good running game. Last week, the Ross kid had 180 yards on the ground with two touchdowns. Defensively, how are you guys going to try to slow that down? Well, first and foremost, you have to be disciplined. Uh, you've got to play your gap, your assignment, not be too far up the field. And on top of that, you've got to be physical. Uh, they do a good a job as anybody in the league in executing their particular scheme. And if you don't play discipline and you don't play physical, they can push you around. So we're going to have our work cut out for us, but hopefully the kids will be equal to it. What's going to be the big key to the game for you offensively to be able to put some points up on the board today? Well, again, like I said before, up front we've got to control both sides of the line of scrimmage. Uh, if I think we, if we do that, we'll, we'll be able to take advantage of, of both offense and defense and hopefully have some success. All right, Coach. Well, thank you and good luck right, tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, Lucas, we've heard from both coaches, Baps and Callis Woodland. What do you think the outcome – well, actually, not even the outcome, but what's it going to take for John Baps to win this game today? Well, uh, do what they did last year. I mean, you, you win a state championship, so stick with that game plan. Do the things you did on offense. Do the things you did on defense. you got to replace some people, but you just be, got to be confident that the guys that are stepping up are going to get the job done. Now, Cal is fielding a small team this year. 
other than conditioning, what is it going to take for Callis to knock off the Crusaders? I mean, they just got to believe that they can win. As if you come into a game believing you can win and uh, believing in the game plan and what the coaches are expecting you to do, uh, you're going to be able to you're going to be able to be in there at the end of the game. Well, the coin toss will follow soon. We'll be, be we'll be right back. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. Our strong safety, number 24, Kevin Ross. Starting at right corner, Ryan Cavanaugh. 